Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe, I appreciate the views, influences, interests on YouTube. Hey, welcome to the channel. Thank you for joining me. This is Influence, and today I have the second member of the Toy Easy Combiner that turned into military uh, ships and... This is the one that I wanted. <laughs> I don't know the name of it. It's WY2203. I'll probably have it in the description. You probably already seen it if you clicked on this video. However, this is the one that I wanted and I like it 100% better than the last one. Check my other review out if you did not see it. Yeah, I like this figure a whole lot better as far as the robot, the way it looks. And also... That's it, because <laughs> transformation is still insane. Chapters in the description, you're going to need them, especially if you don't want to watch this whole transformation, because it is a little crazy. Let's just get into extended thoughts now. Ton to say about this figure. We can look at the head sculpt, why I am getting, let me get a little head on shot while I'm talking about it. I do like this head 100% better than the other one and also I just like the way he looks I like his whole the whole robot just everything they did the engineering on this thing and the other one too is quite amazing but frustrating as all hell also there's some stuff that just doesn't work as far as uh you know, it's, it's just paint and stuff's tight and there's some pins that are hanging out that I know I can fix and I probably will when I get done this review. However, um, there's a scratch there. I was getting distracted by it and you'll see those all over just because it's, it's beautifully painted. I can say that like it's you know, like the paint here, the paint here. This was, I think, supposed to be red. This little plastic, it's like a plastic piece with this blue little, it's just extra decorative, but you do have to do something with that. It's, it's a great figure. Uh, again, if you're not going to transform it, if you're going to leave it in this mode or transform it into leg mode, it will do its work. However, getting it there, once you do it, you know whatever so i i don't know what i'm gonna do with these i'm not sure if i'm in on all of them right now my 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 instincts want to tell me f it and just get the rest of them just to see what the cabana looks like because the leg is quite impressive and i will show that later so let's get into this further because there's a lot to cover i'm going to transform this into the aircraft carrier and then into the foot and leg configuration and that's it i'm not going back uh, i barely want to do that but oh this is this is a little off i had it like that it must have flipped around yeah he comes with a lot of accessories so let's just get into the accessories real quick so you got these things they all can clip together this is like kind of like a gun I haven't found a place for it on the actual ship. I'm thinking it combines with the other stuff maybe and turns into a weapon for the big robot. However, I don't know. So you have that. It has the all in one gimmick. So the foot and everything is you'll see. And I think that's quite amazing what they do. I know people think and I'll show the accessories why I'm talking because it's a lot and I, I'm talking about a lot of stuff. So you can take all this apart. This, it seems weird because they give you two of these and then they give you one of these, which is kind of what the other figure had, but you can take this off of here and use this thing to do this type of thing to make, make it like the double, double edge. 
sword. You can do it how I had it, where I just had this hooked up to all over the place, to whatever. You can do that. You can have it like this and have these in here like this, kind of make it like a almost like a bow, an arrow kind of like it's knocked. Uh, so let's let's move it along with that. I don't want to spend too much time. You get this face again. It has these things that it comes with. And you got to stick this in. It's on a mushroom peg. You just stick it in this thing. It does come off this mushroom peg a lot. However, if you want to, you can go like this. Spin this around. And then... It keeps this up then you spin this around and this piece goes into a hole in the bottom here so he can be on the stand but he stands up just fine he actually stands very he's very solid very solid figure or you can have it how i had it in the beginning which is for the ship so you can do this and then you have the little base base mode for the ship and all the it can also turn into a shield i don't think i showed that last time but it has a handle where he can hold it as a shield this is a giant shield and although this robot is giant you can see it's i mean everything's giant on here so but it's something you can do and also you can store all the uh stuff and they got the gimmicks still even though there's not much to store over here on this side because there's nothing coming off of him you know if you take this off and you're using this you can just stick this on there like that and it stores that if you would like but like i said everything can store underneath here the different holes hold there hold there hold there everything everything goes in there get a card of course gotta have a card with kind of tech specs i don't know what it says you get these stickers again that go on the base these just flip out and spin around and then you put the stickers on and this time we got directions i don't know how good but i used uh uh their video directions which is by mag magnum motion i think i think that's his name but it'll be in the description a link to it because although that video is super fast because it's a uh, stop motion it still helped out a lot just these arms when i get to the arms i'll show you and then you have this nothing's in english so i can't read anything articulation then i'll do comparisons so articulation one thing that's weird is the way these shoulders are you see how this shoulder is back here the shoulders up here. It's the way the it is the way it has to transform. It has to be like that. So, but it's asymmetrical. Yet the arms are still uh, the same. Like they're they're the same because this is on a different angle. But these arms are just something else. You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> when it comes, you do got to put this on. This comes separate, I guess, to protect it. It's on a ball joint, and that ball joint is super tight. It took all my thumb power, and I even had some tool help to push that thumb, that in ball joint into the hole. You can't even see it, and I'm not taking it off because it's just too much. It's too hard to get on. Um, but there's two tabs that's keeping, it's a tab right there that's keeping this on his chest. You just got to find it. And it stays pretty well. It's pretty solid. Again, there's not many flopping things. This flops. I'm not sure if when I transformed it back, I got it right even. But there's no way to. And I thought maybe this was uh, supposed to be connected down here or something. I don't know. I think I got this right. Cause it's a little tab in there that stays but this doesn't stay so there's that again let's go through articulation so you have there's a lot of stuff on here a lot of stuff on him 
Um, so when you're moving these this way, it does go all the way around, but this stuff can get caught. This can go up here and can go all the way up like that. So great articulation and there's a shoulder joint that it kind of, it comes up sometimes, but you don't really want to use that. Now these are all tight joints. You got an elbow that looks like it may be double jointed, but all of this stuff, I say it looks like because it looks like it's more. It's like that joint in there, it looks like it could go all the way, but you can't because of all this stuff. So you can get about 90 degrees down there. You got biceps, no, you don't have bicep swivel. Wait, thought you did. Yeah, you do got bicep swivel. Again, it's this stuff right here is tight, but you got swivel like this. It doesn't go all the way out. Then you have hands. Spins around. Uh, they don't go in and out. They do can go up and down a tad bit. You got a fixed thumb that's on a ball joint. So it's just that one knuckle. And then you have two pin knuckles here. Uh, on each finger so you have that like that up here his head you can get his head up about that much uh, down about that much side to side his head articulation is great of course all the way around and these move for transformation it's supposed to be up like that this one moves in but it's for transformation again this thing right here moves it shouldn't but it does um you got the skirts on the side you have these skirts in the back that can get up he doesn't have skirts forward because he has this little like guard thing so with everything up and move his arms you can get his leg forward all the way and back gets caught in here I'm trying to see if it's anywhere else no it's actually right here is getting caught so so he can go forward and back about that but he's tight it's friction he's tight his his joints is not like the other one as far as going out like this he can go all the way out doesn't fail at all still feels heavy this is a part that i hate this is where it starts to fall apart when you're manipulating it because that's for transformation so that's not that's not the greatest thing in the world <laughs> knees are very tight and stiff and you get more than 90 degrees on the knee you got the swivel up here and you got the feet feet rock that way they go up about that well not really up it is up a tad bit but it doesn't look like it can go down about that much spin it all the way around these things can flare out and you got a heel spur that goes down and that's it. And I showed the rocker, rocker about that much and a little bit out. So let's do comparisons real quick. So I wanted to get a bigger, bulkier robot. So for those of you who have Blitzwing from DX9, you can see how he is and this is Fans Toys Mirage. So you can see he's towering over Blitzwing by DX9. And you know that's a that's a pretty huge figure. So you can kind of see huge figure. Let me get prime just because. And you can see where he is. He's taller than all these figures. The moment of truth is upon us. <laughs> Let's get this transformed. 
into the aircraft carrier. So first you gotta pull this. Uh, you gotta pull that out of here like that because it's on there. And I may have done it wrong. No, oh, here you go. Pull this one out. There you go. Put that down like that. So open up this cavity. Now this seems super hollow, but it don't feel, I mean, it is super hollow, but it don't feel hollow. So that's for this head. It's on this little flat that you pry off. Then you gotta fold these fins back like that and fold this up here. Best solution. Have the head regular, have it pushed kind of like this. Then when you're putting it in, pull this up like that and kind of put it in best that you can. It still hits, but then you can you can get it in there and it goes down. Then you just get this straight because it's supposed to fill in that. Then for now, you can just put this back because you're going to fool with all this last. Now you want to work on these arms, which are monsters. So I just pull this out, pull this out, pull this out of here on the bottom. There's a little clip right here. So you want to pull out. You can fold this up, uh, fold this up here. Just leave it like that. And you can push this clip all the way to get it unhooked from this. This right here is a, a, a joint. This joint, see how it comes out. Now what you're gonna do is you wanna move this this way. However, it's so little clearance. I wouldn't even put the fist in yet. I would just put it like this and then as you're moving, let it move because first time I did, I scraped some paint off. I scraped, well, it might be the other one I scraped because I had the fist and I was trying to get it just right, but it wasn't working because it wouldn't, it wouldn't go just right. So then you move the fist in like that, move this in and move this in. So then the fist is like sitting like this and you just you don't have, even have to worry about it now now with all this stuff out of here you can pull this arm out of here and it's on a dual hinge you can kind of you can kind of see that hinge you just pull it out And there you go. And then you have this mess right here. Oh wait, there's more. <laughs> Back here, you can pull this thing up like that. And then this arm without the head up here will now move up. It's pegged on to that peg right there. Now you can just move this stuff out the way because you don't need to do anything with it right now. But this right here is the business. Like this is. <laughs> so now you can go ahead and do the other arm as well. And I just do some of the stuff you gotta do in order, but I just get this together, uh, pull this out. This you gotta do kind of first, pull this out. Flip this around. And flip. Flip this piece off of here. Pull these out of here. Can't even see that. These right here, just pull them out, flip them around. Then you can move this out like this on that double hinge that you just unlocked.
there it is and then you can move this out again on that on this big rail system it just pulls out now you can try to you got some working room you can try to get this how you want it uh no not like that It's hard to figure out. There you go. And as you can see, scraped up. Oh, okay. It's just some red paint. It came off though. Move this in here. Get the fist where you need it. It's uh, like this. Put this in here like that. I don't think I ever got this completely right. Can't even see it. We gotta deal with this joint right here. So this joint, this is the worst. So you want to turn this around and turn it up. Or maybe I did it wrong. You gotta move this right here, this outer piece. Move it around like that. And then you wanna turn this up. Now I think you can make it like that. And I actually think it's right. The first try. So it should look like that with the uh, pins in it's a muscle memory there i don't know but now you gotta do this one as well and let me see i think you want to turn this in like that then turn this up and in hope you could see that and i believe i think i got it right that's a first. I sure did. So then you just have to get these straight. And they're tight. So it is a pain. Make sure you get this. All this squared up. That's what's hard about this. Because they're all tight joints. And you have to square up everything in here have these completely straight because they peg up here as well um but you can worry about that after you worry about this down here try to get this in and then figure it out over here and just and you can kind of tell because it's these that go together like that it's kind of kind of squared off move that together like that Move this down here. Move this up here. Can't see that. It's tall, so let me bring it down here. So then all of this stuff, it starts to get, once you get those arms together, it starts to get intuitive. As far as what you got to do, because you know what a ship look like, you kind of see it. So just move this stuff out the way down here and then move these in. Now the fists go under here in this little area. Sometimes they don't fit right. You got to try to get them just right. But you can put this together first. So slide these together and... They have a lot of over under tabs. So these kind of fit together. 
and peg together. Then you can move this down. This is over under, so this side goes down first. And while you're doing all that, all this stuff will come out, of course. So no threat, no fret, I should say. Just stick that in there like that. Then move this one down on top of there, and it kind of starts to solidify it. Then you can move this in under here. You can see where that fist is going. And I, I have no idea if it's right. I think you just want to make it so it's flush like that. So it goes under and it fits. Then you want to get this tight. If the fist is fitting, it should this should fit in because it pegs right there. Make sure all this stuff is out the way though. Let me peg this together might as well. That still isn't right. You can see it. There we go. Got that right. And it pegs right here as well. Once you get it all together, it's really, really tight. So again, get this fist so it's kind of straight. Hopefully not. Uh oh, get this out the way. Not destroying any paint. I can only hope. You can't really see in there, so you can't tell if you got it almost right. And I think this side is a side that I can't get on. We'll see if I can on camera. Uh oh, I think I might have got it. I did. So that's the first first time I did that right. Then adjust these. You can move these down right here. They're they're like that. Just push them down here, and then it pegs in the rest of the the ship. You peg all this stuff together. Like this side. There's a peg there that goes into here. Now, the frustrating part is why you're fooling with all of this other stuff. All this stuff will come out. And to tell you the truth, I'm not even worried about it right now. But I'm just showing you to show you. Because I'll clean it up when it's done. And this came out again. That's something that I can't. I, I think it's the fist, but I don't know. So here we are. Those arms are really the hardest part of this. And it's actually not that bad from here. You can kind of see like what's going on. You can move this up, turn this around here. Move this up, turn this around here. Get these, they're pegged on the side right here. Move this up off of here. These on a double hinge, they kind of hinge around. Um, you can move this thing if need be, because it's going to move up anyway. Then over here, do the same thing, move that, and then unpeg it there, and it swings around on that arm. Now you can move these skirts around, just move them around like that. Just for now, you don't have to do anything with them and these either, but you can, I think you can close these now. Move them up. these locked together move this back down so I can get some leverage 
And as you can see, you can kind of move these out the way if you need to. Um, all this stuff is starting to come apart again on me. Just move this down here, here, peg them in, it pegs in there. It kind of gives it a little, an over under again. That's the wrong side. You gotta look, cause it's, it's a lot of that. A lot of putting stuff in and then seeing as an over under peg and putting it and then taking it out and putting it in. Uh, And I get all that together. Push that on the side if it came out. Move this over here like that. Then this goes up here, moves around. You can have it, you know, it moves wherever you want it. So now all of this stuff. These skirts, you can just lift up like that. Lift this one up, or not up, but lift it back, really, like that. And these things, which are the skirts, the bottom skirts, they go like this, and then you can peg this into the side like that. And this goes in there like that. Then this does the same. Now, one thing, this weight. Oh, I didn't. I didn't show the waist uh, swivel. Not swivel. Yeah, I didn't show the swivel. Does have a waist swivel. Just so you know. But this waist is loose, and that is even when it's together how it's supposed to be. It's a little loose. It has a little give in there. It's loose when you take this out, but um, it is it's super loose. So let's spin this back around. It's on a ball joint, but it's like weird the way the ball joint is. So you can spin it every which way. There you go. Then you just stick it in there and then this pegs in to the top. There's a top peg. And that's how that works. Now this, then what you do is pull the legs out, move these legs like this. Might as well move them all the way out and then you can move them. Then you bend it down like this. So then you want to lift this this up and there's a little tab under here that you want to pull there you go get it all the way out do this one as well then just pull that tab right there get that all the way out and we can work on these legs the legs aren't hard at all. Move this, spin it around, put that up there. Spin the wings in, inside of the leg. You wanna pull this piece down like that. Flip this all the way in. Pull this up in the leg, flip this around and in there like that, it doesn't stay in there. Then when you're moving this up here, you have to have it just right. It's weird, like move the feet so it's like kind of tilted because it has a little bit of clearance. You see that little clearance and you have it like that, then it clears and then you can get it and move it all the way down and fit it into that leg like that. Close all that up. There you go. Do the same thing over here. Move the wings in. Move the heel spur in. Move this up. Move this thing up and down. 
spin it around then again over here get that little clearance best as you can and you can move it whichever way you need it it goes like to the back of the leg the bottom of the foot so there you are I think, I don't know if I told you, yeah, I did tell you to do that um, earlier. I think I was wrong in telling you to put this panel down, but it, it's no biggie. It's just, it is what it is. So then you can move this over here and move this up here like that. And it goes inside and then you push that down. Again, over here. That's the only reason this can't because you got to move all this. So it goes down, put that up and put that inside. And then this part goes down like this. Flip that in and then you can flip this up and over. And you got to try to get it there. There you go. Again, flip that up. Flip this in. Flip this. Get this out. Again, everything's tight. Make sure the knee is straight. This knee is not straight. You can tell by right there. There we go. Straight now. Now you can get this where you need it. Is this the one? Oh, yeah. Right here. I'm not sure if you can see. You see that pin? I actually need to fix that. I need to push it up. It's not going anywhere. It's not going up. Therefore, it throws this all off because you see it won't. I was pushing it hard. So you see it kind of indented right there. That little indentation because I was trying to push it in there, but the pins out. So nothing you can do about that. You have a copy like that. Now you can push this down. And that peg right there, peg into the side of the leg. Because when you have it like this, which is how it starts, you can peg this, you can move this leg all the way up. And you know it's all the way up when this pegs into the leg like that flush. And you do the same thing. Peg that into the leg flush and then you pull this waist out and you flip the waist down. Now this waist is super loose now. So you get that in there like that and then you can move all this together. Now, one thing I forgot to tell you, <laughs> when you move this out of here, before you put this together, move these out. There's a peg right there that's going to help keep this together it's inside the leg i should have flipped it out way sooner but it's on the opposite side of this this is already flipped it might already be flipped out they're super tight so now you can put these all together and it's just over under and pegs over under and pegs so that's it in these things back here, of course. And this irks me, but I can fix that because it's the pin right there. Then this waist. You unhinge and you hinge it down. There's a little, it's a waist piece. You unhinge and hinge that down. Get that straight. Get this straight. 
it can get straighter it looks kind of off because it is get these out of here there's little flaps in here that i kind of forgot about as well it's a lot of little flaps and stuff but i mean that's not an excuse that's my fault but you kind of kind of get this up there you go you can flip that not terribly hard but again something that you should have did before i flipped that in i'm still trying to get this leg right and it could be i'm not sure so like if this is off you can kind of get um it together because it's the joint in there but again this this waist is crappy like it's crappy because i can't i don't know if it's supposed to go up further or not but it's not really working out for me then you can put that flap down that flap is super tight and you can if this is right you gotta get this right first pull this out here flip that down pull this out here flip that down get it pegged together then you can push that down as well it gives it that extra oomph now this right here you have to there's a uh, like a clip tab so you have to put this side over top of this side and there's there's two there's one there's one up here and one down here and once you do that then you can move this up here and peg it in this right here move up like the little rail on the side that's where people walk and you can move this in here I, I get this i get this in a minute i just want to get this together then push this all the way down you know this won't go down but it's a peg right there that it pegs into same over here move this in peg these together then that peg that all works fine because that pin isn't there but this because of that pin then these are the two things that you had to pull up on the side now this is where it it's this is supposed to like clamp that little peg and it tabs into here so you gotta close these first this tab is supposed to tab onto there it's the waist see the waist the waist is lopsided so it's not tabbing in right so you tab that side in and you can push this down and you're thinking like oh that's great and then you pull that and you can make this rail but look how lopsided it is and there's not much you can do about it because then you you come over here and you try to tab this side in this side comes out there's a never-ending battle for both sides over here let me show you and you tab that in everything fits well i'm gonna put this back in here put this back like that in here put this together first since again over under anyway so what i was showing you put that in Put this in here. There we go. That's a beast. Get that in. Now you have this up here. So now you see how far it is from the clip. And I can do this all day. Like Captain America. I'm just in this piece. I'm doing this. And I try to hold it over here and get this in. But it's not going because it's, you know, also I can tell, okay, 
So it's kind of how it is, but it's definitely I think we're close to being done. Now what you do with this, you wanna unfold, unfurl these things, pull this up, it's a tower, put that all the way up, uh, unfold this side as well, put that together like that, and then there's two little things right here that this has two little tabs that go on put that on there and then this goes on as well does it no it doesn't tab in it just stays but it's so tight because of the way the ship is that it kind of pulls this up pull that all the way up kind of pulls it up in the front here we are we are done and I think it looks great. It is panel-y, but I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> Make sure there's like little things that you got push up. Just got radar dishes and stuff all over. Guns over here that you can move, fool around with. There you go, you got some guns under there. Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to get that. Like I said, right there is because of that pin. And maybe if that pin wasn't there, maybe everything would fit together. I don't know. But I think it's the waist. That little gap right there bothers me. Even under the ship. You know, it's got propellers that move. These move. I'm like, man, they ain't really have to do that. But they did. Not more to really say about the ship mode, just the, what it took to get there. That's all. So now let's go to leg mode. So we're going into leg mode. So just put this back the way it came. Basically we're about to blow this up Move this down here like that. Put that up there. Move this down and around. I think that's it. Move this right where you need it. <laughs> this, like everything on here is complicated. So before you move that, you, you need to move this where it goes. And then you can move this down because this right here has to be able to move. There's a little notch there. They thought of everything though. I can say that. Put that like that. Now you just wanna break all these arms. Connections, break the connections. <laughs> this side is the over. So you wanna try to get that out. Why am I struggling? And I got a tool right here. Don't know, pull that out. Pull this out here. Pull these out. Pull these out. In. Pull these out here. that out of here get this out of here like that 
Now, an important thing is to move this around like this. So it's upside down, basically. There you go. Now you can break all this apart. Not break, but pull it apart. Super hard. Let me make sure ain't nothing else together. Yeah, it's just it's just these arms. I mean, just these right here, this connection. So you pull that apart. Now comes the wonderful part. See if I can show this correctly. So hard to explain this function right here. Like this thing was like this, both of them. And you're gonna do both the same. You wanna move it in here. Then you bend this down here like this. Then this goes down here. Like, uh, oh, I think it's already where it's supposed to be. You have to move this so it slots into there. It's just a hard, it's hard to move all of this. And you're just trying to move that like to slot into that position without moving this thing. This thing can move independently. And then you can kind of like move this in there, slots that in there. And then I think you just move this so you can see everything. And then you can uh, move this back. So it's pointing forward. And part of the reason you're moving stuff the way you're moving it is because you can't move it any other way. Let's get all this stuff together like it was because this is actually the bottom of the foot. You can kind of see. And now you want to get this one the same way. So it, I mean, it's, it's a frustrating little joint right here because you want to move this so you can see that's really why what you're doing you're moving this around so you can see this joint moving this down like that and then you're trying to get this turned <laughs> which is easier said than done Trying to get that turned. You see, I'm just turning it however I can turn it. This is good. And then you don't want to turn that. You want to turn this back this way so it can once again slot together. And here we go. Put all this stuff together. Then slot this together and get it off camera. Grab on to that. And then this flips down and grabs on to the rest of everything in here then you kind of want to put it together want to get it make sure this is all tight then you just push this together make sure all of this is right Close this kind of adds rigidity to it and solidness. Close it in the back. Then 
as much as you can add rigidity and clamps on up here. Uh, so basically you want to get all of this stuff out of here. So you pull this up here like that, move this up, pegs on right there. Again, move this, this up, pegs on right there. Then we have this right here. Get this out of here. Move that up, pegs on right there. Cause then you have that knee joint pegs on right there. It's pretty tight. So now you have the knee right here. Uh, pull this out. You actually can, you leave this in, but Pull that, flip this around. So pull this out. Move this back. Move this out. Of here, is it? No, we gotta move this to. Then you move it out. And what I like is they knew that this going to this mode would be running into stuff, so they made it fold over, which makes it much easier when you're trying to get it out of here than if it was all the way rigid which i think is nice is they they thought of a lot like i said you put that there like that gives it that extra little uh oomph that extra and you these are one of the ones that you can close down at the same time get that there push that down like that uh let me see move this back up here back together move this back up here to get that right this can stay like this I believe in order to no wait it might uh I think these come down. I think these are like not heel spurs, but they come down here, kind of cover up this back here because this isn't. This just covers up the joint, doesn't really do anything. It just stays like that. But I think this stays like this. And then these just are back here like this. Then here you want to move that up and push it down. But you got to make sure these fins, there's holes for these fins right here. So you just want to make sure they fit in those holes and you can see them coming out the top. There you are with the leg mode. Now this is a humongous leg. Like you got, you got movement side to side. You got forward and back. You do got to move all this stuff out the way. Um, you know, it's going to have the rocker, of course. Just showed it. The knee, which is super tight. You see the knee in assuming combination points. Or it is a combination point, but I guess that's the port. So. You see the knee. Get your 90. <laughs> 
But yeah, just for comparison wise, since I'm not doing the leg, if I do do the whole combiner, I'm not doing the limbs again. I got X Transbots Springer, and I have the other, the arm bot. So you can see how big it is compared to both of those. This is an arm mode because I'm never transforming it again. No, but the way it looks, it looks wonderful. Like it looks like it's going to be great. Going to be a great uh, combiner. And I like that the legs super big. I don't know if they're going to have a part. People keep saying this is Zeta. I see some of it, but some of it I don't see. So I'm not sure if this is Zeta or not. It may be one or two of their designers however i don't i'm not seeing all of zeta in this and maybe this project was just too ambitious as far as engineering now what they did with engineering taking nothing away from the engineers because it's it's a masterpiece in engineering it's just a frustrating you know i, I don't know what they could have done different they didn't sacrifice in in the modes for what they were going with the first one i didn't like the robot mode this one i like the robot mode i actually like all the modes in this one aircraft car and the, uh and the leg even the leg mode i like that it has all in one and it's just part of the ship like a big flat foot looks like it's going to be stable once you get i could get all this better but but even even with this all not right, it it's not unstable. It's really tight. So yeah, here we go with my toy easy review. It's probably a long one. We'll see after I edit. <laughs> and again, I thank you for joining me. And I'm out. You know, life ain't no, life ain't no, life ain't no. As long as you alive, you can give another try and take it real high if you want.